I'm Dan St. Ives, and today I'm talking to Austin-based Texas uh, singer-songwriters Danny Schmidt and Carrie Elkin. Uh, they usually tour separately and perform solo, but this interview is in advance of their appearance at the Calgary Folk Club, where they're going to share the stage together January 30th. Thanks so much for taking the time today. It's our pleasure. Thanks for talking with us. Yeah. Well, I look forward to finding out a little bit more about you guys. I've done some preview listening, and I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the show. Uh, as I've mentioned, you've both had and continue to enjoy uh, successful solo careers. But after meeting in 2007 at the Folk Alliance Conference, you've paired up musically and as a married couple. Does that kind of partnership help or hinder your songwriting when you're, you know, you, you think of the, uh, the artists that... Uh, write and uh, and are on the road all the time is it is it better to be a happy couple or or <laughs> single and <laughs> tortured <laughs> well i think it's good to keep the whole thing in perspective and uh, remember why why we do this so if we if if we were both playing our music and never seeing each other and um not being happy that that wouldn't be good for anybody so we, uh, and the way the show works, we kind of just pass the guitar back and forth. So she, she's a fairly solitary writer. I'm a fairly, fairly solitary writer. We both have sung harmonies on each other's songs for a long time. And so uh, we just decided uh, it would be a lot more fun to share share the road together. And, um, and then we just, we'll play one of her songs and I'll sing harmonies. And then we'll play one of my songs and, I'll, and she'll sing harmonies. And we just kind of pass the guitar back and forth like that. Yeah, we like each other. We do really well on the road. We travel in a similar way, so <laughs> that helps. Well, it's it's got to be a benefit. It's it's a business where you are really on the road most of the time if you're yeah. if you're having success in your career. So it, it's tough to have a relationship with somebody that's not in the business. Yeah, it is. It we, is. We've counseled many a uh, a couple uh, when one one of them. Uh, Wives or husbands don't always understand what it's like on the road. They imagine their husband or wife are out partying every night. They've watched too many movies of like seventies rock bands. Yeah, and, um, it's not that romantic <laughs> on the road. <laughs> we are, our our like way of solving that problem is to recommend that the um, husband or wife that's not a musician actually go on the road and see what it's really like. Oh. <laughs> so. uh. Well, you know, it's uh, it's interesting. You guys have have had uh, just remarkable uh, stuff happen in your careers, and, and your website is awesome. I love the bios that you've put together for yourselves with the timelines of everything that's gone along. Mm -hmm. uh, but you've got a, an entry there, uh, Danny, that uh, you bought your first guitar with your bar mitzvah money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it gives him away. <laughs> <laughs> I got a, a, a little Fender Electric. Uh, I was into very loud, fast <laughs> guitar playing at, the, at that at the age of thirteen. Uh, of course, <laughs> my taste evolved a little bit over time. So uh, considerably more acoustic sound now. Yeah, yeah. I got into the country blues guys when I was about eighteen and nineteen, and uh, really fell in love with uh, with that stuff. And uh, that was when I got an acoustic, um, and. Been, been focused that way ever since. Do you still have now that? Now I've gone more electric. Yeah, now Carrie's gone electric. <laughs> Is she using your old guitar? <laughs> no, no. I, I gave that to my cousin. So I wish I had it still. <laughs> so I'll, I'll step back just a little bit. For people that aren't uh, aware, uh, you're best known uh, for your riveting poetic lyrics, which have drawn favorable comparisons to Canadian Leonard Cohen and Towns Van Zandt uh, for their depth and complexity. And uh, Carrie Elkin is best known for her incredibly soulful, dynamic vocals, which have drawn favorable comparisons to Patty Griffin at her most powerful and Nancy Griffith at her most intimate. I mean, those are some some pretty good comparisons to be to be racking up. <laughs> it's nice when that, when one of those reviews comes through. You know, yeah. it's, it's been good, and a certain amount of pressure all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's true. I personally feel, I don't know what you guys are thinking down there in uh, the home of Americana, but there seems to be a real renaissance of roots, folk, Americana music going on right now across the kind of everywhere. Yeah, it's been funny for me. I grew up here in Austin, and um, that's been part of the fabric of music here as long as I can remember. So it's, I kind of have been in some ways less aware um 
that it that the rest of the world seems to be catching on <laughs> a bit to it because it's just all been there. But it's it's nice it's nice that there, there's a broader audience for that stuff um, that we've always loved here and, and playing. So yeah. the, the the beauty of that style of music is you're telling very personal stories. So you're obviously uh, touching into stuff that might be closer to home than the average uh, pop music songwriter. <laughs> right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I always liked it, too, because uh, our ears are very attuned to these old styles, these roots, the roots of our uh, contemporary music. And uh, I always have liked the fact that Americana sort of kept one foot in these kind of old melody styles and old instrumentations that we're all very comfortable with uh, while making it kind of new and fresh. And as opposed to, there's some very avant-garde new stuff that is totally fascinating, but it kind of feels ungrounded in anything we're comfortable with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your, uh, you, uh, Denny, you've been named uh, Chicago Tribune's 50 most significant songwriters in the last 50 years. Uh, Carrie, uh, Maverick Magazine uh, mentioned that uh, we've never seen a performer so in love with the act of singing. Uh, is there, to me, is there anything that uh, in your influences, the people that have inspired you, or, or that, uh, is there anybody that you, you'd love to have cover some of your music? <laughs> <laughs> well, I... Um... God, I guess I'll do that. I'm going to answer your question maybe in the opposite way, um, just because uh, Linda Ronstadt is one of my favorites because she is an incredible deliverer of music, and unfortunately she can't sing anymore, which breaks my heart. So um, I've been doing a bunch of the songs that she um, made famous and um, I believe just nailed the delivery of and I love it because we teach some some songwriting workshops and stuff, and I also I I often use her in, as an example of someone that um, that is an incredible deliverer of songs, an interpreter of songs, and um, so I didn't exactly answer your question, but I I I flipped it around. <laughs> no, that's good. That's good. Um, I would love if Patty Griffin co covered one of my songs. <laughs> And I, I would vote for Amy Lou Harris. Oh, <laughs> I just want to hear her sing anything. Oh my uh, gosh! Yeah. Oh my. Danny God. loves. Well, we both love Amy Lou Harris, but Danny's love for her is it, it runs deep. <laughs> we actually played a, a show with her at the Ryman Auditorium oh. in Nashville. Um, I don't. Was it? A couple years ago. Two now. years ago now, I guess. That if was you, one of our big thrill highlights of what we've gotten to do. That was fun. Yeah. Oh. So I joked around that Danny could. Uh, have a free pass to smooch Emmy Lou Harris yeah. if, if she had an interest, you know. <laughs> turns, out she, turns out she didn't. But, uh, <laughs> I was like, go for it. <laughs> she, was, she was delightful. She was a sweetheart. Yeah, she was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I only got a chance to see her recently, and it was just uh, the you know the the dream of a lifetime. She uh, you know yeah. long time long time fan. Uh, going back to the vinyl days, so. Uh -huh. No kidding, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, of all the time uh, you guys uh, have been out and performing together, you only got to, to put uh, your album together in, in May of 2014. So, uh, you're also working on a new album, Danny? Yeah, I just finished production on a new solo record. And we still, I think, consider ourselves uh, predominantly solo artists who, you know, for the last year and a half, two years, have gotten a chance to play together a lot. Um, but I think this... This upcoming year and probably the next will be a little more focused back on the solo, the yeah. solo stuff. Have, yeah. you guys, have you guys been up to Canada before? We have. I think the first time was probably about four years ago, and uh, three was it three years ago. We, we were both up for the Calgary Folk Fest and Canmore Folk Festival, and um, we both have come up and done uh, the Home Roots series before, where uh, they're out of Winnipeg, and but mm -hmm. they book little loops in different House regions, concerts. different regions of the, of the country. And so I was in Alberta and Saskatchewan for that. And then last year we were over in January, um, for about, for a pretty good while, three weeks, maybe. maybe. And, uh, we like to come in the winter yeah. because it's, it's like 75 and sunny here in Austin today. I don't know if that it's is miserable. I, yeah, I don't know what that is Celsius, but, um, but it, I will say it's very warm and sunny and, and, uh, 
I'm looking out the window right now and you know, there's stuff in bloom still and, and uh, it's amazing. So we like to, to, um, Oops. Whoop. my mom's calling on the other line. Oh. Yeah, hang up um, on <laughs> whoops, sorry. <laughs> um, she gave me a bread baking lesson yesterday and I think she wanted to follow up to see how, how oh. it turned out. <laughs> yeah, her famous challah bread is, is uh, we were excited to learn how to make it. So Danny had an apron on in the kitchen with a, yeah. with his mom. Um, anyway, we, we love coming up to Canada in the winter because we get a little taste of winter, <laughs> <laughs> which we don't get here in Austin very much. Most are off, uh, most of us are in our motorhomes driving down to Texas at this right, time here. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's true, it's true. So we feel very fortunate, though, to get a little taste of, of winter time, and of the Canadians because we love y'all. <laughs> well, you know, it, it, you're you're coming to a a club that just absolutely adores the style of music you do, and uh, I think you'll find a very warm, receptive audience. So, uh, we've recently had uh, some some great uh, acts uh, out of the states come through that. It's just, it's amazing. You know, I, I grew up sort of on uh, on listening to all the old uh, singer-songwriters uh, back in the 70s, Jim Crochet, uh, Harry Chapin, and all that stuff seems to be, like I mentioned earlier, it all seems to be coming back. So I think it's a, a possible golden time for Americana right now. Yeah, especially if you're the kind of an adventurous listener who'll go exploring because there's so many outlets now for singer-songwriters to put out there material independently but they don't have a big machine promoting it behind the scenes so if you're willing to f find those places out on Bandcamp and cd baby and stuff like that and and poke around um there's some amazing stuff being made it's yeah just, it's just all a little bit under the radar there's also there's some y'all are lucky up up in canada it seems like you have a a great um sort of singer songwriter folk music scene I, the canadian government seems supportive which is much it's a little different than than our government <laughs> well you know it, it's interesting you say that because when i look back and sort of refer to this uh you know renewed interest in, in that style of music so much of our big exports back in the day were you know like leonard cohen and uh, right. uh gordon yeah, lightfoot yeah. and artists like that 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 really i mean everybody recorded their their music so it, it's kind of nice to see some up and coming acts up here, but get a, a good uh, grip on on what's going on down there. And some of my favorite albums out of this last uh, year or two have, have been in that roots uh, root genre. So it's oh, yeah. good. It's, it's encouraging to know that uh, you, you can write more than one word over and over and have a right. have a yeah. good song. <laughs> it's not a lost art. No. <laughs> Well, uh, I don't want to keep you guys tied up. Uh, Danny and Carrie will be at the Calgary Folk Club Friday, January 30th. Again, thanks so much for taking a, a few moments to talk today. Yeah, uh, we loved it. Thanks for calling. You're yeah, welcome. Thank you. Thank you.